Good to go. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm your host, David Dodge, and today I'm joined by a good friend, Bob Chance, and we're going to be breaking down the best place to find virtual assistants, as well as why you would want a virtual assistant and what all of the activities that you can offload by having virtual assistants. So I'm going to do a quick, a quick intro, and then Bob, I want you to do one as well here. And then we're going to jump right in. So, guys, if you are new and you don't know who I am, I'm David Dodge. I'm out of St. Louis, Missouri. I've been investing in real estate for about 19 years, and I have been full-time in this business for about eight. And uh, when I first got started, I did it on my own for about four, maybe five months before I hired my first virtual assistant. And I've had that same virtual assistant on my payroll since I hired him, as well as maybe four five or six, maybe even seven more virtual assistants that I've added over the years. I think right now I have seven and it's terrible that I don't know the exact number, but it's quite a few people, right? But the great thing about having virtual assistants is, is they can help you run your business and they can, they can, you know, answer the phones when you're out on appointments, or maybe even if you're on vacation, like I was last week, right? They can, they can help keep your business afloat and they can do a lot of the tasks and a lot of the activities that you know, you may not want to do. I don't know about you, but there's certain things in the business that I'm not really in love with, but by having virtual assistants around is so great. And it it makes my business so efficient and effective because they are there to help and assist and, and oftentimes do a lot of the activities that, you know, I'm not super motivated to do. So by having virtual assistants, guys, you need to change your mindset and start thinking more about who not how. And that's actually a really great book. I just, just read it a couple times even. Uh, it's, it's a book by, uh, who wrote that? Is it not Darren Hardy, but, uh, the strategic coach guy, what's his name? Ah, uh, you know what I can't just, uh, <laughs> don't yeah. worry. I, actually read, I read it too. It's kind of funny you say that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what's important though, is the mindset of having who, not how, and we're going to jump into that, but before we do so, Bob, thanks so much for coming and joining me today. Um, always love connecting with you, networking, you inspire the hell out of me. Tell the audience here just a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. Is it Dan Sullivan? It is Dan. That's it. And so there it is. There. I Googled it. Hey, it's not that I'm smart. I just Googled it. That's good. That's right. right. So, uh, all right. Two second round now. I know you want to get this started. We kind of kicked this off. Uh, I had a little technical difficulty, so sorry about that. Um, no worries. Like I said, my name is Bob Chance. I own Riva Global, which is a uh, virtual assistant staffing company. Um, all of our virtual assistants are out of the Philippines. Uh, I started investing uh, back in 2004, so that kind of dates me a little bit. Uh, prior to that, I played professional hockey for eight years. So you and I were talking a little, a little hockey, a little men's league before we jumped on the call. The cool thing is now, and I know hey, it says my age, but my oldest is 18 years old, and we get we, we are playing men's league together right now. So it's actually really fun when you uh, you know play the sport and you get to play with your kids. So pretty cool. Um, so any, but anyway, uh, through the time from 2004 to now, I started two real estate education programs. Uh, did thousand plus transactions. I first started in the short sale world. Um, right now, our real estate investment company flipped uh, and turned over about 160 units or properties. Sorry, last year, uh, we use our virtual assistants to you know do majority of the hard lifting, just like you talked about. Uh, today, uh, Riva Global, uh, we have over a th- about a thousand virtual assistants right now um, that work with various uh, clients like yourself. Man, right? that's a ton. Assistants. Yeah. So again, we started, you know, the reason why I started the business was, uh, you know, when I was running the coaching programs and also running my real estate investment company, I noticed a lot of things that you talk about all the time. You only have, you know, we only have so much time in our day. You can only scale so much if you're by yourself. You're only so efficient. So those are the three things you start looking at. And um, I've always been looking for other ways to help, you know, me, myself and my own businesses. Um, And I got introduced to virtual assistants. I think it was back in 2013. Uh, but in 2013, uh, the investors weren't using virtual assistants. It was more on the real estate agent side. Mm. And then a light bulb went on. I'm like, you know what? The, the 50,000 plus students that I've worked with since, you know, when I started coaching programs um, need a service like this. So a light bulb went on. I said, you know what? I think there's a business here. So in 2014, launched my first virtual assistant company. Um, different different name. Um, me and my business partner kind of had a... a, a a split up in 2018, started Riva Global. And uh, fast forward today, uh, I have a real estate investment company called Perch Rock Management and a virtual assistant company called Riva Global. 
So love that's it. A little and bit. I'm a customer and a client. I love the, the virtual assistants that you guys have provided to me in my business. And one of the main reasons that I really wanted to bring Bob on today, guys, is not only does he, you know, own and operate the best virtual assistant company, in my opinion, these guys are rock stars that they crush it, the guys and the girls, of course. But, you know, it's one of these things where like, I would never want to hire a coach that didn't do the business. And or I would never want to like hire, you know, a virtual assistant that didn't work for somebody that did the business. So one of the cool things about Bob is, is like, he's an investor. He flips houses, he wholesales, you know, he does all of these things. He's, he owns rentals. And these are the activities that, you know, we want to do and are doing as well. Right. And the people that he brings on, he trains them how to do real estate and how to market. And, you know, they basically come on and it's, it's somewhat turnkey because they have already had some education and some training on real estate. And, you know, again, just the fact that Bob is in the business, right? Like he's doing this, he's talking to sellers, he's flipping properties is such a leg up from, you know, a lot of these other companies. Hence the fact that I work with Bob and chose Riva uh, because there's a lot of VA companies out there and there's a lot of choices. Let's be honest. But when you work with somebody that, you know, that owns the company, that's also an investor and he's teaching the, the, you know, the, the virtual assistants in his organization to work for you as if they were working for him goes a long way, guys, massively goes a long way so yeah dave let me dave let me uh let me add yep. to that. I, think, I think it's really important because you and i talk a lot about this you know we're part of the same mastermind we you know off camera we talk a lot about this um i'm huge on education right um back in you know call it what it is when i actually went to school when i was in college i didn't i didn't take advantage of of education but once i was out and i started in my real estate investment career um education is extremely important and i think there's a lot of noise in our business and there's a lot of people that come on that say, Hey, uh, you know, the uh, service providers that come on and say, Hey, David, you got to use my service. Cause we're the best. The first thing that I do all the time is I look at what they do in their own businesses. So if it's a service provider that does, I don't know, um, um, let's say uh, skip tracing for an example, I want to make sure that they actually use their service too. I think it's really important that you use your service because just like coaching, just like you said, right? You're a fantastic coach. I know you are because you do the business. Same thing with us, right? We have a team in our office in Cheshire, Connecticut. Um, we're adding acquisition reps all day long. We're adding t uh, TC, Dispo. Um, we just hired a sales manager. So we're doing all of the same things that you teach. Um, and we also, all the leads that are driven in my business, a lot of tasks are taken care of are from virtual assistants. And yep. you were able to go on a kick butt vacation because you have a team of virtual assistants running a lot of that lead generation to handle a lot of the hard work. So that's pretty cool. Love it. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. It's, it's like, you know, it's like, would you go hire a personal trainer that weighs 400 pounds? <laughs> I mean, unless that guy or girl is like meaty muscle and that's what they want. Like, come on, you know, you want to work with people yeah. that are doing the business and, you know, they're actively engaged daily in the business. And again, that's really where, you know, when I, when I met Bob and, you know, stumbled across Reva. I'm like, holy cow, this is what I've been looking for. I've been looking for virtual assistants that have literally are trained in this space and they, you know, work for a guy that yep. is doing the, the business. So can't, can't uh, harp on that enough guys. So incredibly important that, uh, that you work with a reputable company. Uh, but let's just jump in guys. I want to try to keep this, you know, under an hour. We're about 15 minutes in cause we were a couple minutes late. So I'm going to share uh, some slides and Bob and I are going to, you know, go over, the reasons why you should work with uh, a virtual assistant and how awesome your life is going to be if you don't already have one and you bring one on. And, you know, Bob's got a ton of them working for him directly, as well as about a thousand people total. I've got six or seven on my team um, and it makes your life so much easier. Like Bob mentioned, you know, I just got back from a fishing trip in Alaska. I literally was in Alaska. Um, what? days was it? I guess it was Thursday through Tuesday. So that's five nights, I believe. And um, I didn't have to open my laptop one time. My team got yeah. multiple properties under contract while I was gone. I was out on a boat fishing in 700 feet deep of, of, of Pacific Ocean off the coast of Alaska. One day we were just kind of had a couple extra hours of free time. We rented a seaplane and took the seaplane up in the mountains just to sightsee. And we found a lake and landed in the lake. 
right? We're just out here doing the coolest things. That's and a we, dream, dude. That's a dream. Dude, it was so cool. I'll, have to, I'll share some photos on my social media this afternoon. I haven't had a chance, but but the cool, the reason I'm telling you guys this isn't to brag about you know how great my my trip was. The reason I'm telling you this is because without having a team, my business would have came to a screeching halt while I was out doing these things. But because I have a team, the, the business moved forward, right? Every day that I was gone and wasn't available, my team was still marketing. We were still making offers. We were still, you know, helping sellers and, and making money and doing transactions in the process. So it's amazing. Bob, I'm going to shut up for a few and let you take over here, buddy. I'll control the slides. You just let me know when you want to go to the next one. But this is what yep. this is all about today, guys. It's the master class on real estate and virtual assistance, why you should have one. Bob, you're up, you're up, brother. Yeah, David, I'll go, I'll go very efficient, right? Sure. Uh, I won't, you know, prolong any one slide. Um, I'll touch on the very important real estate investor, real estate professional, real estate agent, whatever that is. I'll talk about the task there and what we're doing in our business. So um, let's fast forward. I know I, I already talked a little bit about myself, so you could you could actually jump by that mug right there. Love um, it, man. Look at that <laughs> hockey pick. Woohoo. <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah, just but two second round out of our company. Um, you know, we have an incredible culture. I love our company. Um, we we do a lot of get togethers. Uh, COVID kind of threw a wrench in that. So we did, you know, virtual events uh, every couple of times a year. But uh, we're scheduled to go back there in November. Uh, we have a you know a really really big event, and we have, you know, we have uh, support staff. I think we're at over. Don't quote me this. I think we're at about a hundred support staff right now that are working with you know all the way from our recruiting team to our training team to our placements team to our ops, HR, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, behind the scenes. I like going over this because I think it's important to let everyone sure. know that it's a real company, right? So we right. have about a hundred support staff. I could be off on those numbers. And then the rest are obviously virtual assistants, but we go to the Philippines. Uh, I was going three to four times a year, but since COVID I'm going to be going back there in November, we have a huge, huge party to obviously give back to our team. We also have a support event. Here's just some pictures from a couple of years ago. We also do some charities over there called the helping hands, a project there to give back to whether it's battered uh, women or it's, um, you know, children that need extra care or uh, adoption, et cetera. So we do some really cool stuff behind the scenes of charity to give back. So um, that's just a little bit about our company. I know this isn't doing it justice, but I just want to make sure that. No, I, I no, th this that. is great, yeah. man. I love, I love seeing all the happy smiles and faces. And, and that's one of the things that I definitely want to highlight is, is that like, you know, everybody's so excited to, to be a part of your guys's group that, you know, I, it's like fun working with them. Like, let's be honest. I've hired some VAs, prior to knowing you and it's like pulling teeth trying to train them and if they don't have the right attitude or the right energy you know it can it can be you know it can be an uphill battle but like yep. everybody on your guys's team and the people that are on my team and the people that i work with through reva is like they're happy to come to work they're excited they appreciate their job and they know that you know by by helping you do more deals or maybe it's an admin role or whatever that they're making a difference and that's just yep. it just goes a really really long way yeah. And the Filipino culture is very incredible. Um, like you said, I mean, the, you, they look at your business like their business. So they really, really care about every little thing in your business. Um, this is what I've found through, you know, many years of working with virtual assistants. So um, just a little bit overview of what we'll be covering, um, all the things that you need to know to automate 90% of your real estate business. Uh, it, it, this is important, just like, you know, David was just on just on vacation for X amount of days and did not have to worry about his business. That is really where I think everybody should want to be. It's really important. I mean, think about this, you know, and I always go back to COVID, but COVID taught us a lot of, a lot of things about ourselves, a lot of things about time, a lot of things about where we really want to be spending our time, right? Do we want to be spending our time um, sitting there cold calling all day long or do we want to outsource that? Do we want to sit uh, posting social media posts? Do we want to sit there doing um, text messaging? TC work, um, whatever the, the tasks that you have in your business are, or do we want to outsource majority of that so we can spend the time doing whether it's closing deals that gets our, our heart going, right? It's closing, locking up, a, you know, meeting people for appointments, whatever that is, or spending time with your family, with your kids, yep. summertime, right? It all depends on what that is that you want to do in your own time. It's really, really important because time is limited. And I, you know, you know, the get, most valuable thing right. we have, I was, I just did a podcast this morning and I was talking, you know, on that podcast, like, 
you know, money is is very important when you don't have any. Right. Yep. But when you have money, you make money, making more money doesn't necessarily make you more happy. It just gives you a little <laughs> bit more. Not, it doesn't make you more happy at all. It gives you a more utility, which means you can do more things. And, you know, but at the end of the day, time is what we want, regardless if you, you know, think think that or not. That's really what we all want is the time. And that's what virtual assistants do is they free up your time. So, Bob, I didn't mean to, to, to interrupt uh, you, but I just wanted to really harp on that because that's what they do for me. They help me run my business. But at the end of the day, it's not about them being great at acquisitions or dispositions or TC, even though they are. They're phenomenal at that. But it's about the fact that I don't have to do that anymore. Correct. Correct. And, and, you know, and the older you get every year, your lens changes. I always like talking about that. Your lens Love changes that. and you look at did things differently. So I know for me, when I started, geez, I, I was 30 years old. I think I started in this business, right? You, been, have same, <laughs> you look 30 now, bro. I had no kids at that time, right? Now I'm 48. So my point is every year the lens changes, your family grows, et cetera, all that kind of, all that kind of good stuff. You know, now, um, would you rather be cold calling or, uh, or playing men's league hockey, right, Dave? Right. I play men's league hockey. All Love right, it. let's jump to this one. Um, real estate professional. Uh, they jump right back real quick. Just two oh, seconds. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Yep. So we'll talk about a little bit of how it saves you time. Um, we'll also talk about best ways to generate motivated seller leads with virtual assistants. This is what I'm doing in my business. So I want to make sure that I was clear on you guys can copy exactly what I do uh, because this stuff works. And then best tasks to outsource uh, to a VA to get started. So that's a really a two second overview of what we'll cover. Um, Perfect. Here's some of the things, the real estate professionals that we serve. Um, anyone from an investor to a wholesaler, a builder, agent. We have you know, brokers on our team. We got landlords, uh, property managers, uh, uh, residential brokers, lenders, et cetera, influencers, content creators. So as you guys can see here, I don't have to beat a dead horse on this one, but it's important to know anything within the real estate professional world, um, we actually cover. We also have about 300 um, medical virtual assistants as well, because we started another uh, line of business. That's how I like to call things lines of businesses underneath my, my sure. world. So we have real estate and we have medical as well, because you could actually go cross grain with a lot of stuff. So that's a little bit of who we serve um, in reference to everyone on this call. Love it, man. Love it. I, I'm looking at this list and I'm like half of the list right here, man. I'm the investor. I'm the wholesaler. I'm I'm not an agent, but I'm my business partner is we do the renovation and the rehab. We do the short term yeah. rental. We do the long term rental. We have multifamily. Uh, we do some property management. We do creative financing. You know, I, I use some of some VAs for content creation and and, uh, and stuff like that. So like, yeah, I mean, the, the, the opportunities are endless. It's amazing. And the, ta and the tasks on those just go up one more too. just that now that you opened, you actually uh, and hey, just so everybody knows. This is how uh, David and I do this stuff. We jump around a lot just because yeah, we got ideas right. and we want, to, we want to make sure that I don't like for me personally, I don't want to miss anything. So just hop back up. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This one here. Idea. Yeah. So investor side, if we look at all of these different kind of professions, mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of them boil up into the same thing. Right. Yep. You have marketing because if you don't market and brand, you don't have a business. You have a business. If you don't have acquisitions or lead generation, you don't have a business. You don't have leads. You don't have a business. Right. If you don't have, um, you know, operations, you don't have a business because you look at uh, property management. There's so many tasks within property management. Oh, man. VAs for 40 like, tasks, 50 tasks. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, taking inbound calls. You don't want to be taking, you know, this, Dave, taking inbound calls from from whether it's a tenant or doing third party management. You're getting hammered from two different people. Right. Mm. I don't want to know if someone's toilets clogged. Like I shouldn't be taking that call. That mm. should be going to a VA. And what you do is sure. you give them a vendor list. And they can then do the work behind the scenes. So yep. there's a lot of stuff like that. Lease renewals, um, you know, leases, give bonuses for that stuff, et cetera, et cetera. So I just want to touch a little bit about that. Like, you know, investors, we'll go over some of the tasks that we do. Wholesalers, uh, builders, there's laundry list of stuff. So, And you guys, here's the thing. It doesn't even, you, here's another thing that I, I just want to mention too. And like, like bringing on a virtual assistant for your business is great, but you know, maybe you're just getting into business and you're just busy and you just need an assistant, right? That's another thing that, that I brought on. I think the second or third virtual assistant that I brought on, of course, I'm a real estate guy and that's, you know, my main business is the real estate, but I also just needed someone to just help me, help me stay organized and help me remember to do this and help me prioritize. And like, I mean, there's some tasks that I'll have my VAs do that aren't even related to business at all. Like literally, hey, can you go send this person some flowers or, you know, a thank you card or, 
you know, just anything and everything. Can you book me a reservation tomorrow night for dinner with my wife? I'm busy right now. I don't have time. Send a message over. Five minutes later, I got six different options on what restaurants. I mean, come on, guys. It, it can be anything. So, Bob, yeah. didn't mean to interrupt you again, but agreed. No, no, it's good because we give 100 task lists. You, you give out 100 task lists as I do. well. So I have that, one. that's yep. pretty cool. So the, exactly what we're talking about. I know we're going to be going through this quick because time flies just like this. So Let's rock. Um, yeah, David gave you 100 task lists so you can go over <laughs> these right. and, and look in your own business. Um, why it's important, we did actually touch upon the scale. You know, doing more deals more efficiently while saving on expenses. I mean, scaling, I know there's a lot of um, – that's kind of a, a coin term out there, term out there in the industry. Oh, scaling, scaling, scaling. You got to scale. Scale means different for different people. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good point. You know what I mean? So it's like we have to look at it. Like for me personally, I'm looking at scaling from 160 deals per year to over 200. Right. That's my definition of scaling is really up and up, like upping our game. But sure. and it's not easy to do. So don't get. Don't get caught up in the weeds. Scale. I love it that you mentioned that because my definition of scale is actually to work less and yep. make more money. So that made that doesn't necessarily mean do more deals. It can, Correct. but it could mean, hey, maybe do less deals, but bigger deals. Mm -hmm. So again, yep. everyone's definition is going to be a little different. But regardless, you are limited by the number of hours in a day and in a week. I think there's 168 yep. hours in a week. You got to sleep. You got to eat. Right. So there's only so yep. much time. But if you were able to bring some help on and have some virtual assistance, you now can double or triple or quadruple the amount of time that you can commit to these love activities it. into your business. Love it, man. Yep. Love it. That's exactly what I said. Uh, take, it's not adding more work to your plate. It's taking less. Right? Taking so whatever your definition is and becoming more efficient. I mean, we know we understand what efficiency is, right? You know, working in your daily process per day, because, you know, if we're stuck in our business, we really can't grow our business. You, you never could. Nobody could if you're because you're really caught up on the deal. We got to pull ourselves out and really look at things from a 10,000 foot overview. It's really, really important to do. Uh, time freedom. We talked about that. You need more time. I and mean, there's so much stuff that you want to do. Whether you want to play golf, you want to go fishing, you want to fly a plane, you want to, you know, go watch your kid's baseball game, soccer game, hockey game. Right? I mean, there's so many different things time will be attached to. So I don't want to really, you know, hone in on it. We all know what the, what the, the, you know, going through COVID taught us a lot. Yes, like, it time did. Time is freaking, you, dude, you can't get any back. And you can't get it back true. and it goes quick, you it's know, quick. and and, and I don't know about you, but I'm not the best at multitasking. So like you said, if you're wanting to go watch a kid's soccer game or go play some ice hockey, I got a hockey game tonight. You know, yeah. I can't be on the phone with sellers when I'm out on the rink. Right. You know, and like there's just no there's just there, time is such a valuable resource and it's so limited. So, you know, having the ability to 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 control your time is going to empower the hell out of you. You know, you can't do it all. There's just not enough time. So, man, I can't and agree more. Offer, good. Yeah, and we offer 20-hour VAs or 40-hour VAs. How much mm. do you think you can get done if you take 20 hours or 40 hours off your plate of a task? Love right? that. I mean, that is absolutely. So th Times we always have to start Week after week, that. month after month, year over year. Right. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's just unbelievable. Love yep. it. All right, cool. cool. All right, what sets us apart? Just a little bit of background of our company. Um, we do a four-step recruiting and interviewing process. This is important because let's call it what it is. We all could go out and find our own VAs. We could. I've done it myself when I first started. Same. Um, I had to go through hundreds and hundreds of resumes mm -hmm. to get one person only to find out that person <clears throat> wasn't a good fit for me. So now yep. I had to go back to the drawing board. There's a lot of pain in this. So I want to make sure you, anyone on this call, listen to this, can go get their own VA if they want, right? Here's the process. So this is what we do behind the scenes, just so that you can see a little bit of, of what we do. Uh, we do a VA system check to make sure they have the correct system because there's nothing worse, nothing absolutely worse. If a VA, no matter where they are, has bad connectivity, doesn't have enough storage, et cetera, on their computer, doesn't have a backup computer as well, just in case their system goes down. Very, very important. We do VA background checks. We do a three-point competency and language proficiency check. Uh, like I said, we're out of the Philippines. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but English is one of their primary languages, just to let everybody know, because I know that's a, a big misconception. And then finally, we do disk profiling and predictive indexing. So if you're looking for a cold caller and you want, um, you know, you do a predictive index and you want a Maverick or a Captain or whatever you actually want, mm -hmm. we'll go out there and find one for you. Um, you know, it's not foolproof. You know this. I know, David, it's not foolproof of, you know, I've had individuals that are fantastic with a couple of different profiles, but sure. it's a great, great indicator for me and my own business. I do this in my own business when we hire, 
you know, sales guys that are sure. in our office as well. So uh, we do a four week real estate intensive training. We so also when you have, bring somebody on, they, they go through a month of training. Holy cow. Yep. I didn't realize that it was like, I knew you guys did it for a couple of weeks, but a month is, that's amazing. Yep. Yep. And then we also have our VA package. This is, this is important This is um, because I hear a lot of, you know, there's a lot of VAs that uh, or a lot of companies out there, a lot of complaints that I hear from other individuals that use other services. They say, listen, one of the challenges that we have is that um, some of the, some of the VAs that I have are jumping. It's because they don't do this. Um, we offer paid healthcare, paid time off and paid training. So mm -hmm. this, there's a lot of stuff that we also do behind the scenes, take care of their HR, et cetera, et cetera. Which does uh, so much, man. It not yeah. only does it make them feel like they're truly part of the team, yeah. but they're not looking for another job. They, they are they're Again, like I said earlier, they're happy to be here. They're getting compensated and are getting these benefits and, they truly are here to help in, in uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. And, it's just, it, and, and for us, we hear comments all the time. So we pay before they're supposed to be paid, which is important because that's another thing that, you know, some of these other individuals are like, oh, well, you know what? Um, um, they're promising me this, but uh, I didn't get paid yet. Well, mm. it's important to make sure that you, again, you pay what I do at my own VAs as well in my own business. I also bonus them. So a very good idea would be, yep. oh, David, you do the same thing, I right? Do the same. Just set up a little bonus structure. It could be a couple hundred bucks. I mean, think about this. If you're if you're making twenty grand, can you afford to bonus a VA two hundred? Of course we can. Yep. Right. Or one hundred fifty or hundred, whatever you you like to do. But it's very very important to, you know, make them part of your team. But this is a little bit about what sets us apart. Um, now I want to get into, uh, if you don't mind, the meat and potatoes. Um, Let's do it's it. It's not gonna, like I said before. It's not going to last. This the webinar won't last two hours. Um, I I'm very. You know, you know me. I'm really to the point. I'm from the yeah. Let's do it. So I lead generation. Wanna... Here's the thing, guys. Bob, you already said it. If you aren't marketing your business, you don't have a business, right? So maybe you bring a virtual assistant on to help you with admin, or you know, maybe you have them help you with something outside of lead generation. Most of my virtual assistants, most, this is what they focus on: the lead yeah. generation. It's the marketing because that's the lifeblood of your business. So let's talk about that, Bob. Yeah. And, and here's one of the things, and I'll just give you a little bit of when I first started back in 2004, um, I door knocked for a year straight. I know we don't, a lot of times we don't have to do this anymore um, because a lot of stuff is, is online, right? So I literally got a list of pre foreclosure properties and I would door knock to gauge seller motivation. And then I would go home. I would, I would door knock from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, Monday yeah. through Friday, every wow. day, right? And then I would go home and I would skip trace. I would look on 401.com or white pages. Again, this is back in 2004. Yep. I would look for the best phone number for that house. And then I would call till about seven o'clock until my wife wanted to rip my head off. Mm -hmm. Right. But that is tiring. And I'll be honest with it. Um, once you have a kid, which I had my first kid when I first started, um, it gets more and more challenging. You know, you got to you got to go feed them. You got to go walk them. You got to do a lot of different stuff. You got to change them. You got to do a lot of different stuff when you have kids, um, depending on what age they are. But I was beat up. I was worn down. Mm. Right. When you're on the phone, I don't know if you uh, you've ever done cold calling, David, but cold calling is, is one of the most important lead generators. You can do it yourself. But I promise you, you're going to be beat up. You're going to be worn out and you're going to want to quit. Yep. Um, and this is but it's a it's a necessary evil in our business. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and there's two different types of cold calling. One is one is when you get it. And I, I'll cover this. But one is a fresh list and just calling someone out of the blue or the other side of cold calling. And it's not really cold calling. It's it's doing the follow up of your thousands of old leads that you had, which is gold, but we'll, which is the we'll, gold mine, right? Which is the gold mine. But I guarantee here's what happens. And again, I, I will cover this again. But what happens is once you get a new lead, you cherry pick, you go up top, mm. right? And you get another lead. Then you get another lead. before you and know it, you, you, you lose track of all the, of all the gold in the database because you're focused on the new boom. That, that was the reason, Bob, I'm so glad you brought that up that I brought on my first virtual assistant, you know, you know, whenever I did seven years ago, give or take, was because I knew that the follow up was so important, but I was also doing the marketing and there wasn't enough time in the day to do the new marketing, to handle the new leads and follow up with the old leads and run appointments and make offers. There's a lot of moving parts in this business. Yeah. And that was what I did. And I'm so glad I did because then I was like, all right, I'm going to handle the new stuff that comes in. But after I talk to them once or twice, I'm going to put that on the follow up and that's going to be on you. And then I was able to free up that time.
So yeah. love it. It's, love it. It, you know, it's, it's the pain we went through to actually create this. I mean, that's really what it is. And, and the pain that you went through Dave, to fill in whatever holes that you have in your, in your bucket, right? Cause we all have, we have holes in our bucket. We have to plug them in and guess what? You'll get new holes every, every time. Yeah. There's going to be so constant. That's such a good point. Yeah. You can't plug them all because things happen. Life changes, you know, yeah. all the above. So love it, man. So let's talk first. And this is a lead generator I do in my office. So um, mm -hmm. all of this is coming out of my Perch Rock office. And majority, we have a very high percentage of customers around the country, as you know, David, you do the same thing, that do these tasks to drive leads. This is lead generation and just a little overview of exactly what we do. These leads that come in, we have our virtual assistants call, call, call to gauge seller motivation to send them to our acquisition team. The acquisition team could be me and you, but I have built up a team here in Connecticut to be able to- Yeah, we got layers now too. But yeah. in the beginning, it's probably going to be you it's and that's okay. Be you. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be I, better at it most of the time because it's your business. Maybe not yeah. better, but you're going to be the most passionate about it. But yeah, once you can get a couple layers in there, then you're going to truly have time freedom. Love Absolutely. That. Yep. So just to give an overview of, of cold calling, it is by far- one of the most effective lead generation methods. It is in, mm -hmm. in you got to take my word on this because I do it and I, David, you do it. And it is, you're going direct to seller, right? You're, this isn't yeah, this direct, is this isn't direct mail right hoping somebody calls you're going direct to seller. And I'll go yep. over the system that we use in our office and David, you can add to it once we go on, but really, really important to understand this is different than direct mail where I'm dropping a piece of mail. I literally just got my mail today. I threw away 95% of the stuff. And I'm like, this is garbage. This is garbage. Yep, this is yep. garbage. Right. But if my phone rings, guess I'm what? I'm going to pick it up. Yep. It up, right? <laughs> That's right. So uh, also the, the next bullet is this method. This is a method that is often the most difficult to stay consistent with and often leads to burnout. I went through it. I got burnt out. I do recommend trying it though. Um, a lot of times for a lot of these tasks, I have no problem with, you know, when I talk to a customer saying, you know what, I'm interested in your service, but let me try it first. I'm like, perfect. Perfect. Because then, then you could feel yep. what it feels like to be not consistent, number one, because when you're, you're not running a business. You're outsourcing leads because you love our, our, our tasks because you love doing right. those tasks. Guys, come on. Let's be real here, right? You're right. outsourcing this stuff because you don't like doing it or you don't have the time to do it, but you know that it's got to get done. Yep. And consistency is, is consistency is what makes a business successful, right? Yes, if you is. don't consistently do it, you are going to consistently struggle. I've run into this when I was doing it. I know you, you run into this with your students. If you have a student that's a rehabber and you're telling them you have to consistently, let's say cold call every day, right? Mm -hmm. And they're the ones that are doing the cold calling. Guess what happens? Once they get a property under contract and then they actually close on it, they're going to be spending more time on the rehab. And they're going to be like, oh, guess what? I got no more leads left. Yep. Right. Man, it happens, so man. I happen. see it every day. You got to keep yep. that marketing machine going. Yep. What's the worst that can happen if, if you have too many leads? Yeah, right. Exactly. That's a good, that's a good problem that's a, to have. That's so. the best problem to have. Best problem. So anyway, it often leads to burnout. So just keep in mind, try it yourself, and then it, it'll open your mind to actually outsource that stuff. Um and then again, what we do, and I think it's on two slides after this, um, this is a way to, to connect with hundreds and hundreds of sellers every single day. Every day, sometimes it. thousands. It's crazy, yeah. but yeah, you and, gotta. And here's the thing I tell all my students, Bob, all marketing leads to a phone call. That's right. All of it, no matter what. Even if you're texting somebody and they text you back, your goal should be to get them on the phone so you can yep. build rapport. Right. If you're sending postcards, they're going to call you. If you're doing SEO or pay per click, they're going to fill out a form and then you yep. have to call them back. Maybe they call you. It doesn't matter what you're doing billboards, radio, TV, bandit signs, you name it. All marketing leads to a phone call. So if you got people on the team just cold calling, then that is the marketing right there. I love that. Yep. And it's, it's, it's considered so the, the hundreds that you're going to hit every day. Think about this. Even if they say no today, they're still in your database. Nobody understands. Nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow. What I mean like this, this is, this is the way the world works, right? You don't know if uh, someone's going to get a divorce. You don't know if there's going to be a probate situation. Someone's going to pass away. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know. Someone's going to lose a job. We have no idea. So that motivation, if they respond to us, we don't know if that motivation will change tomorrow or the next yep. day, the next day. So you know, I, I know a lot of people hone in uh, you know, very often on, well, this is the best motivated list. 
Um, if you do cold calling, you'll realize that it does, you know, you're going to start, you'll start with the motivated list and then you can start opening up to other lists. You never yep. know if your neighbor wants to sell who knows mm -hmm. and what their motivation is. So that's important just to, it's a psychological thing. That's really important for us to, to understand. Love it. Man. All right, let's rock. All right, cool. Next slide. Here we go. All right. These are just some recent deals right here. Um, we do, so we do a bunch of different stuff. We do wholetailing, wholesaling. Um, we do some, I'm not going to get into what a novation is, but we do some novations. Um, we do mm -hmm. some, we do a couple fix and flips. We do some buy and holds. So these, these are recent deals and we don't, we don't just do it in our own backyard. Um, I'm fortunate enough. Obviously, yeah, I noticed that you to, guys have multiple markets up here. That's great. Yep. yep. So we've recently pulled out of Toledo because okay. the profits are small. This is a, a big profit, but mm -hmm. we got, we literally the first month, I think we had 43 properties on our contract. Wow. But again, there's so many different war zones in Toledo. That's yeah, not our just... backyard. We're in Connecticut. And we mm -hmm. realized, you know what, for the amount of time that we're spending in Toledo, we could be spending in Connecticut, Arkansas, Alabama. Yeah, where you got bigger uh, profit margins. 18 Georgia, grand, let's be honest. That's still a great margin. That's especially great. For that's, that's new. You know, that's, I should have put amazing. I should have put a five thousand dollar one though. I should have put a five thousand dollar <laughs> right. one. Because, you know, but they, one, yeah. But even at a five grand for somebody that's new, I mean, that's life changing often. Very good money. Very often. So very good money. Yeah, those so are some good looking deals right there. I like it. Yeah, and I just want to show you, you know, the reason why I put these in here. It's not to brag, like we talked about. It's just of to course. show you that we're doing the business as well. So yeah. it's just and that's you know, so important. Like, yeah, and I think I, I just want to give you proof. Um, it's funny, dude. <laughs> you, you'll enjoy this one. So I got an email. Um, one of our marketing emails about our Arkansas deal where we made $71,000. And uh, someone goes, I don't, someone sent an email and I don't believe you send me the address. And I'm like, I'll send, right. send you the HUD, man. Yeah, I'll send you the HUD. Give right. me a call. It's actually pretty interesting though. I love it. All right. Well, moving along here, text messaging. This is probably one of my favorite places to, to find motivated sellers. Uh, so what you guys got? Go back, uh, go back up. I think we might've missed a slide. Is there up, up, up one more? One more, two more, actually. This Let me just see here? if I missed the slide. One more. Nope. All right, let's go back down to the tech message slide. Because yep. um, I had a slide in here just to show you my system and how that works. But it's it's really the same here. So mm -hmm. um, I got to check my slides again. But anyway, text messaging. Uh, this is extremely, extremely powerful. Of course, mm -hmm. check your own state and what your laws are. Like that's that's our job as real estate investors. I'm not, I'm not pushing anything that you don't want to do. I'm just telling you again, really, same. Really, and, and I, you, you tell all your students the same stuff. So mm -hmm. extremely, extremely powerful way. Think about this. I don't know how many texts. I just got a text message right here. Saying, oh, oh, I get several yeah. a day for all the, cause I mean, I got, you know, 70 plus properties yep. and people yep. are trying to buy them all day. I, I could probably get one or two texts a day from other investors, but that's okay. When I see it, it's like, it, it actually kind of makes me happy. Cause I'm like, this guy's got a good business over here. He's marketing. My, How my is he buy a deal from me if he doesn't reach out, you know, yeah, it's, it's true though. It's true. So the point is we pick this up. We look at it a billion times a day. I mean, billions, a little much. Oh, it's, on, it's, it's, yeah. it's obnoxious. Yeah. It's obnoxious. <laughs> it's like, you know, you, you, you'll be with your family like this. It's like, ah, put it away, uh, put it away. Yep. So anyway, um, this is what we do. Um, we pull, we have our virtual assistants pull our lists and just a little bit of, of what kind of lists we're pulling. We test a lot of stuff. Um, we've used PropStream, RealFlow. We're testing a couple other companies right now mm -hmm. um, just on the actual list. So what list provider do you, I, I know you, you, you work with a couple different list providers, so I'll ask you on your side of it, Dave. Yeah, I'm going to drop a link in the thing here. Uh, my SMS provider is Batch Leads. And if you guys actually use the link here, batchleads.io forward slash Dave, you get 5,000 property records included at your first month. I Perfect. think they may even either do a 50% off or something like that too. But I like Batch Leads. There's other providers, of course. Yep. Uh, but Batch Leads is great because you can pull your leads, you can skip trace those leads, and you can SMS those leads. And then additionally, they have tons of data and MLS comps. So while your team, you know, I, I do it from time to time whenever I'm bored just because it's kind of fun. But my team does 97% of this. But they can go in and they can look at the comps and they can determine, you know, what offer to make and to see if the person that they're, they're communicating with is, is, you know, is actually motivated or not. And then they set the appointment for me and my business partner. So they do 90% of the work, you know, all the prospect and all the marketing, which is the business that we're in. Guys, we're in the marketing business like it or not, it all starts with the marketing. So very, very similar to what you got here. 
Yep. Um, so so let, let, let me just add to that. Let me just yep. add to that because that's important. So mm -hmm. a company like Batch, right? Um, they have the lists that you could actually pull. You could pull records. So let's say, you know, David, I'm looking Vacants at- Vacants or absentees. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at sending um, 500 a day, mm -hmm. right? That means 500 times uh, 30 days is what? That's how many leads you got to pull. It's a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you pull those leads, you get those skip traced. It stays within- in your example, batch. So all mm -hmm. of that data stays within batch. What you do then is you have your virtual assistant. And I know different service providers, be careful, don't spam. Stay within a certain yes. amount of Yeah, do, it, do yeah. it the right way. Sure. Do it mm -hmm. the right way. So what we do is we have our virtual assistant send 500 a day, mm -hmm. right? And then we send them out. They respond back and forth, right? SMS implement. We have a strategic plan that we train our virtual assistants on. We have about... You know, in, in, in your open rate is going to be different. Oh, it's so high though. Yeah. yeah, it's very. Yeah, I mean, I think our open rates that. are base are on on average anywhere. I mean, they can be ninety eight on some yeah. lists, of course. I mean, I've even had hundred percent on certain days. Yeah. Like that's but rare. This, but that's yeah. that's high, right? That's yeah. No, high. but like ninety two yeah. to ninety five percent is pretty normal. Yeah, like that's yeah. standard. So, yeah. yep. That means you got eyeballs on this thing. That's mm -hmm. important. That means your message is getting it's where getting it needs received. to get. Getting received. Yep. Right? Because mm -hmm. like cold calling, you know, your your rate is a lot lower because you're either getting voicemails. One thing I want to say, just make sure your virtual assistant as well, this is what I do, they leave voicemails because the callback rate is a potential lead. So there's yep. a big misconception a lot of times. People are like, oh, you know, I just want them to keep calling and not leaving messages. Leaving messages turns to money in your pockets. So yes. It just, does. Just, the only thing I would add to that, Bob, is, is don't record a standard message. Correct. Yep. Because then that's essentially, you know, an automated system. Yep. Leaving messages, just make sure that you teach them to do it in real time. So like the Correct. way my team will do it is, is, Hey John, you know, or Hey Bob, you know, it's Wednesday, June 29th, about 1249 PM. You know, I'm trying to reach you about this property. You know, if you have interest in selling it, we'd love to talk with you. Give me a call back. Like that's it. Don't overthink Correct. it. But Perfect. the point is, is make it real, make it personal to them. And, you know, we even sometimes mention the date and the time just so it's like there's no argument of, well, you're, you know, you're doing RVMs or you're dropping yep. voicemails. Yep. Yeah. That's a great point. And I, cause I, I don't do that. Like I, I, I we do it and leave real time just like you. So yep. I don't time. even, yeah. So I wasn't even thinking that. I'm glad you brought it up because now that you said that, I remember someone saying, oh, you got to do an automated one. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. Don't, don't do, do the automated ones. You can, you can use automated services to help get more, more messages out. Yep. But when it comes to the actual voicemail, yeah, yep. great, great point. Yep. So anyway, and then we, we tie this to our CRM and I know, um, I don't know what CRM you want to, you want to give your, uh, CRM we, we use, we, we, we use a couple of them and it just kind of okay. depends, you know, on where somebody's at in their business for which one I would recommend. Uh, are you yeah. simply is one of my favorites cause it's simple. It's great for the newbies. Um, but again, some people just have preferences. So, you know, I, I leave that usually up to the student uh, cool. to kind of go investigate. I'll give them a couple options. I've used them all at this yep. point, you know, yeah, but yeah, have an so. ACRM guys, a CRM can can essentially be a Google sheet. Like, let's, let's yeah. be real. You know, the ability to create notes on the leads and to create a task. Now, obviously I would suggest you to go get a real one, but like you, like that's how I started. I started with Google sheets, Yeah. but you got to keep start. track. Just I mean, that's start, the point. Man. Yeah. Keep track of what's going on. CRMs really only do two things, Bob. They allow you to keep track by making notes and mm -hmm. they allow you to, to create a task to do something later. That's it. Everything else is a bell and a whistle. And obviously these bells and whistles help our business. Let's be honest. But without the ability to take notes and to create tasks, you got nothing. Right. I agree. I agree. And then what we do is we tie that in. We tie that form, our virtual assistance fill out into our CRM. Yep. So it goes right, right to our CRM for our acquisition rep that is sitting in my office in Connecticut to pick up the phone after their pre-screen. So that's yep. a little bit what, what our system goes. Love it, okay, man. Cool. Cool. You ready? Yep. All right. Next one. All right, here's Ooh, some uh, recent these. text message I deals. I like these case studies. These are great. Yeah, yep. 31.5, 49, and 38.5. That's some good yeah. looking deals right there. Pretty good hitters there. Um, and, and again, you know, there's different exit strategies. Like we were selling to a we were selling to a, a number of hedge hedge funds as well. Mm -hmm. um, but do know, and I I don't know if I'm going over people's heads, but when we sell our properties, we're looking for buyers in those areas. Right? Oh yeah, and, of course. The best areas that we actually find are are the buyers that are buying the most. And a lot mm -hmm. of the Sun Belt areas, there's a lot of hedge funds down there. So you yep. could find these contact information anywhere. So these Arkansas deals, these two deals um, were from he the a hedge fund that we were using. We actually pulled back from them. They were only nine markets because they kept moving the, 
the goalposts a little bit. Which yeah, means shrinking our, the buy our, box. Yeah, even. Shrink our, yeah. our buy box and our profits. So they're kind of cutting into it. So we did a different strategy. We were making literally probably almost double, mm -hmm. right? But we're going to go back, start working with them. They open up into nine other markets on top of that. Nice. I mean, this is only one. You got to realize there's sure. only one hedge fund. Yep. Hedge funds are good, but just do know a lot of times the goalpost moves. It moves. Not to yeah. mention, um, you know, they're going to be they're going to be a very good resource for all of us in the near future as interest rates start going up a little bit. Yep. Um, they're still buying and renting because rent rates are not going down. So they're not going down. Little... Here's the here's the main takeaway though, Bob. You're not texting people. Your team is. Right. You're exactly. not. I'm not doing it. No, I don't do any of this. No, I don't do any of this. Yeah. 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 Occasionally I'll jump in just because I maybe want to yeah. review what the process they're using or the script they're using, or, you know, I just get bored and want to do it. But, you know, 99% of the time, my team is doing this, but this is the marketing, just like the, the previous slide up here about, you know, cold calling. I'm not cold calling. My team's cold right. calling. Now, I did it in the beginning because I wanted to learn it. And I also wanted to see how, you know, this is something that I didn't want to do. I had to realize yeah. that. But over time, you're going to realize that. You know, the marketing is the lifeblood. You guys have heard both Bob and I say this several times. So if you're not doing it, if you're not the one that's doing it and dedicating, you know, a block of time every single day, I'm not just saying go do four hours on Saturday, guys. That's not going to get you anywhere every single day, right? If you're not doing it, you're not going to have a business. So having a virtual assistant on the team is going to allow you to get that done without you Correct. being the one to do it. Love it, man. These are some healthy looking deals, Bob. I like it, man. Yeah, they're good. They're good. So we're... uh like I said, um, I mean, we use our own service. It's uh, I got to I got to leave these as uh, good case studies. So the next time I'm on with you, I'll have a bunch of other ones to share. So hell yeah, man, let's do it. Absolutely. All right. So and this is the other thing, you know, the VA follow up. Um, I can't stress this enough. Um, and I know you and I did talk about this, but this is where a lot of people, a lot of us. I mean, I failed at this at the beginning as well. Um, mm. You know, I was a perfect example of. You know, when I would door knock and I would do lead behinds and I would do just direct mail, calls would come in. I'd be dealing with that. And I was also doing short, this short sales back at the time. So I'm on the phone with banks. I'm doing all of this, everything, right? Mm -hmm. And what would, what would happen is I would get 20 leads one week and then I'd follow up once and then it would go all the way back to the bottom. The next mm -hmm. week happens. I get another 20. Guess what happens? Now I got, I got to go do 40 more calls to get to the bottom one. Another one, you know, 60. So what happens is you never call them back. Yep. Right. This is human nature. It's not, you know, there's, there's, it's just part of the game. This is how every office that you talk to actually falls in, into this trap and in this part of pain. Um, and this will never end. And that's a good problem though. This will never end. However, you are losing so much money by not having somebody follow up every single day. I really, think really that awesome. your, um, your numbers here, or maybe even a little low, to be honest, right. man. I would say yeah. 80 to 85 percent of the deals I do come from follow-ups, and five, I'd be lucky to get one from five to eight touches. Usually it's right. 20 right. or 30. The average deal that we numbers, do in our business, Bob, is four right? to six months. Four to six months, yeah. Yeah. Now it yeah. doesn't mean that you're not gonna get one today that closes next Tuesday. Let's you know mm -hmm. those happen too. But you know, that's that's the 10 percent, you know, may, yeah. maybe you know, give or take. So I can't agree more with this though. 70 yeah, and I just, you know, percent of all your I deals are going to be from that, follow -ups. Yeah. So I saw this. I think you're hundred percent right on that. To be honest with you, it's higher than this. I saw this stat and I just took it because it, you know, it was kind of within a range, but I do agree with you right no, now. But it, it the is point, the point is there, you yeah. know, it's, it's the majority of the deals yeah. you're going to get. So if you don't follow up, you're going to do one or two deals out of 10 of what you could do. Correct. You're going to be leaving 75, 80% of the, of the deals on the table by not following up. And of course, five to eight touches, you know, is a good amount. It's better than zero to one, but yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, it's I mean, we, we closed a deal the other day that we had been following up with for four and a half years and I'm looking <laughs> through the CRM on it. And yeah. I'm, I'm literally like, man, we might've called this or touched them to so touches means call, text, email, direct mail, maybe even door knock them, right. Just yeah. getting in front of them and, saying, hey, I'm still interested in, in working with you. And I was looking at it, and I was like, man, I think we may have done 100. It was crazy. We did the math. We did 72 touches with this person over four and a half years, made 26000 on the deal. Yep. And to the if point, I would have stopped yeah. after, after you know, two or three or five follow-ups, we wouldn't have made twenty six k. You got to be the question, the question I have for you is, who's the one that was following up? 
Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> that's my point, right? It was my it's, team. That's right. It was a Reba. It was a Reba VA, man. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Thank you, Bob. And I, I think I'm I'm glad you and said that. Covered that covers the whole important. that covers yeah. the salary for like the whole year, man. It's great. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's awesome. So anyway, on average, you know, five to eight touches. I think you're right on the more side of it, right? I'm being very conservative with my mm-hmm. numbers. Um, yeah, I mean, it's obviously yeah. possible to do that. But yeah, yep. the more, I mean, guys, here's the deal. There's there's only three reasons, Bob, that we stop calling or following up. One, they tell us to stop. We want to respect people, of course. Correct. Number Correct. two, somebody else buys the property, so it's no longer available for sale. And the third and final one is, is we bought it. Yep. That's it. That's the only three reasons that we will stop, period. Agreed. Agreed. We follow the same process as well. So keep calling, keep following up. Cool. Keep following All right. Up. Let's move Perfect. along here. What we got? Yep. Uh, thir- 14. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, here's just some follow-up stats. Only Love 2% of statistics. sales close at yes. the initial meeting. Right? Yeah. Um, so when you sit and in, in, you're sitting with a, let's say with a client, uh, your VA sets you an appointment, you go sit with them. Only 2% of those sales actually close at the initial meeting. It's very, very important. And the average sales follow-up drop-off rate break down, breaks down like this. 44% of sales reps stop following up after one rejection, one no. That's right. half. I mean, Jesus. Half David, your competition. You, hey, hey, you, wouldn't got, hey, you wouldn't have gotten married if you if you stopped after one rejection, oh right? Oh, my God. You wouldn't do anything <laughs> typically. Like, So here's the thing. These stats are great because me and you don't stop. So right. this is our competition. Guys, 44% of our competition goes away after one follow-up call. Get out of here. That's why Crazy. we're so successful is because we don't stop. And here's the cool part. We're off playing ice hockey and taking trips to Alaska. It's the team that's doing this for us. Yep. I love I it. Agreed. Man. Agreed. And then 22% you guys can read it. 22% stop after two, 14% stop after three, 12 stop after four. So that means 92% of the people are done after the fourth. No. And, and look, jump, jump back to the last slide again. Yep. Please. Yep. Mm-hmm. Five day touches. That's it. Right. That's it. So. That's it. Love That's it, it. All right. I know we're coming to the top of the hour, so let's jump through here. Yeah, here um, you go. All right. Direct mail. Same thing. VA, um, you provide the list just like we already talked about, and VA can pull them, format the list, send it to the direct mail service. Um, lead comes in, right? The VA takes an inbound call. Done. Right? Mm-hmm. Very, very simple. Guess who did nothing? Look at the uh, – this is such a great point. The beginning of this cycle, the end of the cycle here, Right? Yep. So, and as the NB, as the VA takes the inbound call, they may set it up for you. You may have a closer on your team that gets to it before you, but the, this here, this is the time consuming part. Yep. Right. And that's yep. where they come in. Love it, man. That's a great Correct. slide. Yep. And then, and then what they do is obviously take the call, the pre-screen it and then send it over to you. Yep. Or, or maybe you've trained them to, to make an offer and set the appointment. Right. It right. just depends on what what your process looks like. Yeah, you're, uh, that's a great point because some people, you know, some individuals uh, want to have them set an appointment, someone to make an offer no matter what, or get a range from them, et cetera. Yep. So great point. In the there. beginning, I wanted to be overly involved. And it took some time to like just get comfortable being like, all right, you guys got this. You guys got this. Now, yeah. I'm like, don't call me unless we have a contract on a property or, or it requires an appointment to get the contract, but the motivation's there and they're willing to take a, a really good offer. Otherwise, like I'm busy, you know, and they right. know. And I'm not rude when I say that, of course, but like that's their job. So yep. focus on that, you know. Agreed. Good point. So here's some here's some more stats from some direct mail. Oh, um, oh yeah, the next one. So it's good. Oh, Just some real life stats. Oh, look at that. Um, what, Man, you got yeah. some good ones here. Yeah, so you got a 27.5, you got a 16 in Alabama, and then you got a – you got to buy a monthly all the cash flow. Yeah. Yeah. We, we got it for, we got down for a pretty good price. And I mean, oh, that's yeah. obviously not the norm. <laughs> yeah. It's a good looking crib though. I like it, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. But well, here's the thing that I really want to highlight guys. These are all different size houses. These are all different types of houses. You're wholesaling, you're doing rental. Let's go back up to this one. You got different markets. You got Connecticut, you got Arkansas, you got Alabama. And if we go up to this top one up here, where was the other one at? Right, right, right there. Yeah. yeah. Ohio and Connecticut. So it's like, you know, you can do this all over the country and, and you can. And I haven't use- seen any of these properties. I've, I didn't see one of these properties. Me personally, I haven't seen any of these properties. How awesome so, is that? Yeah. That's um, if I could do it, anyone could do it. I'll be honest with you. Yep. <laughs> awesome. game. So guys, so, yeah, this is it. This is a marketing business, but here's proof yep. right here that, you know, you can, if you find the deal and, you know, if you have your team help you do it even better, Bob's saying he, you know, he hasn't seen any of these houses or been in any of them. <laughs> I'm the same way at this point. The majority of the deals that we wholesale, 
I don't even go out and view them. We just send the contract. The VAs are doing the majority of the work. And then I'll get a message over, you know, from them saying, hey, you just got a contract. And it's like, hell yeah, great work. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to get you a bonus this week. Let's <laughs> do it. Yeah. All right. It, man. We're winding it down here. So just some, some of the common, this is, goes back to what we were talking about at the beginning, right? Some of the most common tasks, which um, I know you have a link there to give away a hundred tasks, right? Yep. Here, um, I'll, I'll drop it in here again. Go ahead though. All right, perfect. So it's just some common task season for VAs and, and, you know, lead generation. And that's just the lead generation side. You got cold calling, text messaging, direct mail, you got pay-per-click stuff they could do. Uh, lead nurturing. This is the 70% plus follow-up. It's follow-up specialist, whether it's email, phone, text. Also, lead management, uh, marketing tasks. They do anything from social media management, graphic design, podcast management. Um, we use, I just started another podcast. I don't know if you know that, David, called Pucks to Properties that focuses on giving back to um, hockey players that are in the middle and almost ready to, to retire to let them know that there's life after hockey. So we interview ex hockey it. players in our real estate now. So it's pretty cool. It's just a, that's really cool. Yeah. Yep. So it's a little give back thing that I'm doing with, uh, a guy I hired in my office that was a professional hockey player for 12 years as well. Um, I do it with him. So it's pretty cool. That's anyway, really cool, man. So but our, VA, our VAs manage all that. We also with Preston, who's a, uh, who's our marketing stud. Mm -hmm. um, that's great. Now. Yep. Yep. And then uh, content creation, et cetera, copywriting, and then some admin tasks like you touched upon before, you know, whether it's appointments and an email uh, inbox management, bookkeeping. We have uh, a lot of clients that are um, property managers that use our VAs for bookkeeping and, other types of stuff, data entry, inbound phone, skip tracing, list pulling, et cetera, et cetera. So um, definitely download that uh, 100 task list. Yeah, there's about maybe, maybe 20, give or take right here on this slide. But guys, yeah. if you go to thinkreva.com forward slash David, there's actually a free download. It's got 100 plus tasks that you can hire your VA for. And Bob, here's something that I think you might get a kick out of is we review that that list once a month. Because there's so many things that you just, that we just forget that we yeah. can have the, the VAs help us with, right? Sure. So literally, I'll sit down once a month with my team and we'll go through that and we'll check off all the boxes that they're doing. And we literally kind of make it a challenge. It's just fun. Like, hey, you know, is there anything else in this list that we're currently doing that we can have the team do? And we always find one or two things every month that we're like, you guys are, you know, now I don't encourage you to give them 100 things. Cause they're not going to be good at it because that's like me trying to tell you to go do a hundred things. You're going to be like, well, where do I even start? Start with right. one or two, obviously right. start with one or two, but as they get comfortable and familiar and they're, and they're just crushing it with the cold calling or texting or whatever it may be. Now you can say, Hey, I may need some, some video editing here. I may need some data entry or some bookkeeping, or yep. I even have my VAs help me with my damn taxes. Right. <laughs> so it's like, there is an infinite amount of things that you can essentially do. Uh, but again, you don't even know a lot of the things that they can help you with until you you know see what they're what they what they're capable of so and, definitely and very, check out and, 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 forward slash david the links over here in the comments and there's a free download no strings attached uh 100 plus tasks i review it monthly didn't mean to yeah, let, let, let me bring that up sorry about that, that you're in the middle of that um one thing that i, I do want to highlight is that's a very good very good idea of, of looking through this all the time because if you're doing ten dollar hour tasks it typically equals a ten dollar an hour bank account. It's called what it is. Yeah, you know great, what I mean yeah, because correct. that that is huge right there. So mm -hmm. I hope no one just brushed over that. Very important. <laughs> yeah, Same. cool. Let's keep rocking. All right, we're almost done, guys. Thanks for cool. thanks for watching and attending today. And Bob, thank you so much for coming on here. This is awesome. No, so let's talk about you. the savings of a VA. Yeah, yeah. And, and here's what I would do. I would take a screenshot of this screen. Actually, um, it's really important because. You look at what a VA costs compared to hiring someone in, in oh office. Oh my God, it's and night and day. The, this annual salary is low. I live in Connecticut, so that's a very low annual salary compared to, you know, uh, different parts of, of the country. So we're probably at sixty plus. Yeah, that's low for St. Salary. Louis, and yeah, we, this is a cheap place to live. Yep. But yeah. And again, I'm very concerned. I mean, you've known me for a long time. I'm sure. very conservative on you know what my numbers are. Like, I don't like over embellishing anything. Sure. So. Sure. say 35 to 45 um, average salary, but look how inexpensive it is to take 20 hours off of your plate or 40 hours off of your plate. This is absolutely nothing. I mean, you're buying back your, your day, your yep. week, your month, your year. Yep. 
And these are the tasks, the consistent tasks like we talk about. I mean, do you want to be on the phone all day long trying to gauge seller motivation? Do you want to be texting all day long? Or do you want to be golfing? Or do you want to be fishing? Or do you want to be hanging out with your, you know, your, your loved ones? Whatever you want to do. It's really, really important. Or guess what? Maybe you want to spend more time raising money. You can't be cold calling. You can't be text messaging. Yeah. That's just an example, right? Yep. Um, no, I love it, man. And again, um, benefits included, like we talked about before, pay time off, health insurance, company paid training, et cetera technology and equipment, um, you know, office space, et cetera. So office space, uh, going on to the right hand side in office hire, you know, we're all, we're paying for everything. You know, you're paying for taxes, you're paying for, yep. well, you're paying for everything. And then you're also giving them a computer desk space, office space, et cetera. And you have Re to pay requiring them to drive to and from work. Gas. Yep. Yeah. I mean, dude, there is, there is, it's a lot. And then you have yep. to maintain an office. If you don't already have one, you got to get one, you know, like, yeah, it's expensive to have yep. a team of people that are local. It's really expensive. Yep. So yeah, just take a look at this. Definitely look at it. Um, it's really important to look at it because, you know, we hire locally as well, um, but we hire more virtual assistants. So it's, um, it's a great cost savings. If I had to hire, you know, if you start looking at your business, Dave, and you, and you have to hire everyone in house, some of these businesses are upside down now. Oh, most of them are. Man, you know yeah. what the worst thing is? Is somebody that's like, you know, has thirty or forty thousand dollars a month in overhead. Because then it's like, it's like you got to yeah. do two or three or four deals in some cases just to break even. Correct. And it's just because you have three or four local people on the team that you got to keep. You got to. You're paying their mortgage and you're feeding them and their kids. And it's like, right. yeah. So like it adds up quick. But you know, cutting that price down by five, ten x in some cases yep. is. I mean, it's a no-brainer. It really huge, is. Huge. Cool. Let's uh, jump to the next one. All right. And again, this is all. This is what we always say: do we do best and outsource the rest? Right. It's Love the, that. Scene, you know, the best automation is is a great virtual assistant, and you know, we believe that we do the best we can every single day on um, bringing in the best talent for you. So, you know, David, I know you use us. Um, you know, if anyone has any questions, we could go on to the next slide there because I know this is yeah, the, yeah. Let's the link uh, that we want to bring them to. So. There it is, man. I love it. Book a call and guys, go get your free download. A 100 plus tasks that you can have done for you by a virtual assistant or even a team of virtual assistants. So, uh, yep. RevaGlobal.com forward slash David. That is a link that works. There's another link actually, ThinkReva.com. I'll share this here up on the stage and, um, that is a great place to go get that download. There's no strings attached, guys. Get the download and just start looking at it. And even if you're not ready to hire a VA today, it's a good idea to just start planning. That's kind of what I did, right? So, you know, I was getting, I'll be honest, I, I started to get overwhelming because I knew that this was a marketing business. So I just started marketing. And in the yeah. beginning, you know, for the first couple months, Bob, it wasn't, you know, too, too, too terrible. To manage the leads that came in, the new ones, the existing, do the follow-ups, run appointments. But after a while, it started to be getting really, really stressful. Yeah. And I just, I didn't want to, you know, work 14 hours a day. Like that's not a life, you know? No. So in an effort to, to maintain my sanity, I brought on a VA and over the last seven years, I've scaled that to seven because it's like, man, I'm getting so much value for the cost. I'm buying my time back. Like when I'm done with this episode here, I'm going to jump on with a student. And then after that, I'm going to the park. I'm like, right. I don't spend more than maybe two, three hours in my office a day. And if I don't come in for two or three days, sometimes even weeks at a time, the business is still here. It's still rolling. Marketing still happen. We're still locking up deals. I mean, all of the above, but you got to have yourself a team. And if you want to bring somebody in local, all the power to you, it's just going to cost you three, four, five times as much. It's just, it's yep. going to be a lot. Yep. Yeah. And, and David, I want to thank you. And again, you know, maybe our presentation might be a little different. I just like, you know, I like going over the stuff that's going to help everybody because, you know, this is stuff I use in my own business. And like I said, you've known me for a long time. And if I talk too fast, I do apologize. No, you guys can no. go back and that listen awesome. to this from, from Northeast and I just go, 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 go. So, Man, uh, I but no, I, pre I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I do want to respect your time. So we're going to just wrap up guys. If you have any okay. questions, Hit me up. Shoot me over an email. You can email me at, I'll drop my email in here. It's david at householdeasy.com. Send me a message. I'm happy to answer your guys' questions. Um, I've been working with Bob for several years. Love his team. Love his energy. Love the enthusiasm that his, uh, his, his v VAs through Reva 
provide and how much time freedom they have been able to provide me in my business. It's amazing. So guys, don't forget, check out that 100 plus task. Click the link, download it. Uh, give, shoot me an email if you have any questions and uh, we are here to help. So Bob, again, I want to respect your time. Thank you so much for coming on today. Uh, what a great presentation. I'm so happy with uh, the VAs that I have through Reva. And I'd imagine down the road here in the next couple of months, I'm going to probably need another one or two. So we'll be definitely cool. be in touch. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Thanks, Bob. See Thanks you later, man. Signing Thanks, off, man. guys. Thanks for attending. And again, shoot me an email. Download that 100 plus task you can have your VA do for you at thinkreva.com forward slash.